What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me as always is my buddy, Michael. (laughs) That's a nice little intro. What up, Michael? Um, Guys, what's going on? We're uh, Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, we came back. Episode 11, La Serpiente. La Serpiente. Um, Yes. So, all right, man. Okay, what do you think, man? Just overall, let's do the beginning at the end. I mean, the end of the beginning. Well, I mean, there wasn't better much. Than the, in, better than the was, premiere? I mean, it's it's weird because I'm trying to debate, and I don't think I can come up to masturbate? a proper. I was trying to masturbate while I'm oh, thinking yeah. about that question. It's rough, but, I know. Uh, no, I don't know. I, it's it's tough because they none of them. They haven't been a real great episodes they haven't been exciting everybody knows uh from the from the mid-season premiere that we weren't unhappy and we've been debating on whether or not to keep doing this but yeah it's kind of hard to say bro i don't really know it, it i guess it's like like plateaued you're, you're on like the fence you're on the fence it's so, very yeah you're like there was because... no jump there was no spike to me that made me really a appreciate this episode more than the, the, the first the first the premiere. two or whatever i'll, I'll tell yeah. you this much you know um, it's like, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kind of interested, I'm kind of interested, but am I interested enough? So what I'm saying is I'm interested in the fact that, you know, we're just going to talk right about the end real quick, how it, how it yeah. kind of wrapped up and, and they made this deal with Lola and the, in the water company, I don't know, let's call it the water company, I don't know, the dam, right? Yeah. They made a deal with that. Okay, great. And I'm kind of interested to see because now they're going to get water at the ranch and what's going to happen back at the ranch and I'm so, but but am I that interested? So it's like am I interested enough in, you know, do I care enough about these characters? The answer to that is absolutely not. I don't. Yeah. They they're all there isn't like one standout character that I'm like, "Yes. Yes." And it used to be Daniel and and mm-hmm. and I'll, and was Daniel always an asshole, or did he just become one? Cause I mean, I guess he kind of showed throughout the last, you know, the, the, these these first couple seasons. He's, I'm thinking you know, he was. Think about, think back to the first season. He was an asshole, and he protected his family. Then he got. Mm-hmm. It was. It really was only until the beginning of this season, season three, that we got to see him in a different light. And I started really I mean, liking an, him. An asshole to who, though? He really wasn't just an asshole in to general, Madison or he's, anything. He's just I mean, a fucking killer, and he's an asshole. I'm, but that's fine, because obviously... <laughs> excuse me. I don't have any water with me, damn it. That's... um. I mean, obviously, that's fine, whatever. But, yeah, yeah I don't know. That was a question I had. Uh, here's another observation. And I'm not going to rant like I did last week. I'm just... You know, you're I, sure? I can't. I might a little. Uh, so, here's a little rant. Walker. Mm. Yes. To... Titty Kaka, whatever the fuck his name is, all right? No no disrespect, but what the fuck? Like, this dude can stomach poisoning a massive group of people and killing people, yet he can't stomach going in the sewers or fighting zombies? Dude, I'm sorry, but that doesn't make... I just poked myself in the eye. That doesn't make any sense to me. He's all weird. He's all like, the zombies in the sewer, and then when... And when they have to kill that bloated and the one that was stuck yeah. in the thing, like he's mm-hmm. like, Ugh. I'm like, what? That's well, such look a at, shitty look at what, character. Well, thing, look man. at what Madison, you know, look at what Madison has has gone through and, and the kind of kills and the Walker stuff that she's been through. We don't really nec- we don't really know how much of that was was um, was happening with the nation before. You know what I mean? So I'm sure they weren't going through sewers and and doing such the travel that no, Madison and in the family situ- encountered. But, in, so. but you have the apocalypse and you can I know, you can but fathom dude, she was in the she was in the first she was in the in the front first spot. No one obviously obviously they trust her and they know she's a badass. And uh, she was the first it's one a, into it's the, annoying. It just yeah. char- that's the character stuff that annoys me about this show. They're very well, inconsistent. Yeah, you, know, you know what annoys me, dude? This is what annoys me. Let me let me let you know what annoyed me the most in this whole uh, rant it out man it's not it's not as much as a rant but the the part when um strand madison and walker came across the blockage and those walkers on the road yeah <laughs> so strand has this little beeping well first thing. of all, all right i'm gonna stop you right there 
What? Really? I forgot I about that. Really? You it would have been funny if it was like a, a fucking... like one of those fart uh, yeah, right? sound thing ones or something. That would have been probably funny. But so anyway, he throws this <sighs> little where to get it little from? low little beeper thing, right? Yeah. He throws it on the floor, and you know, between the tr- the big old diesel truck that they're in, and <laughs> yeah, they... and all the Walker sounds and all this kind of stuff, and um, the Walkers <laughs> hear that very. Very low, Faint, little tiny, little beeping sound, blip, 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 and then they're blip, blip. slowly creeping uh, and pushing these cars out of the way with this with this water truck or this tanker truck. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god! Like <laughs> they they could have throw he could have threw a um, a fucking firework or something. They could have they could have did something that would have uh, been he could have threw a cop, see, that's, mo- a cocktail or, or a something. Molotov cocktail. That's my point, dude. That's what I was telling yeah. you off camera. That, was an, that, that annoyed me. This episode was do it just for the sake of of pushing the story forward. That's you know all it was, man. Oh, and wait, wait, wait. And he gets to that gate. Yeah. And it's just it's he just breaks through the gate. I thought it was locked, but it wasn't. And then he's tying it up. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's just for the sake of getting shit done yeah. and, like, getting them there. And yeah. and I'm going to be honest. I, mm. I, maybe that's a good thing. All maybe right. it's a good thing to push this shit forward because – this is it's it's getting it's not a getting it is already boring and they it's, yeah, it's what, what's really bad about it and I I hate having to fucking bash it but it's the truth they set these situations where you're like oh shit this is this could be good yeah. this could be, and then it just falls fucking flat every fucking time minus minus very very small little scenes like the scene when uh, Strand is looking out over the people getting the water truck ready because Lola wants to bring the water back out to the people. Yeah. And Daniel comes out and he's like, I can't, I can't tell what thoughts are going through that serpent head of yours, that serpent yeah. mind of yours, but whatever it is, it better, it better, it better benefit both, benefit of us. both of us yeah. or I got you in my sight. And I'm like, all right, that was a little bit kind of cool. Um, can I ask you a question though, Mikey? Sure. Why the fuck was Lola just like she was from the eighties? <laughs> when they first met her, she's got the sideways ponytail. She's got that that dude. That was an '80s jacket. Don't fucking tell me that wasn't notice. a jacket. I did, from the 80s. Notice dude, I did not notice it, dude. Did not notice it, dude. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm putting it in the thumbnail, dude. It, All right. it, no. All right. It was awesome. I missed no, that. No, it was pretty that. awesome. Dude. That was the first thing I noticed when I saw it. it really Listen, awesome. let me ask you. Let me ask you this, and this is really the biggest, the biggest um, uh, plot points that we got from this episode. My, my quick little thing is. Um, you know, they had to add the, the the beginning drama in the episode with Lola denying the, the deal at first and all this kind of stuff. But now that they have this water, um, I just can't see uh, this necessarily working out as, you know what I mean? I don't well, just see, all like, right, now I, they got the water, now everything's going to be okay. Kind that's of what I was deal. saying. Like, it's, you know it's, I mean? it, I'm in, I'm, 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 I'm like, you know, my interest is peaked because it's like, well, okay, but where are they going to go from here? And well, they still have to worry, and the and and the and the dams less to worry about the fucking civilians or the people out there. Yeah, but that's assuming, why they're getting I'm, the guns. Well, I'm assuming I'm assuming that this. Um, listen, the episode was a build up as well. It's a build up for the reunion with Dalazar. Uh, Dalazar, holy Daniel, shit! Daniel Daniel Salazar is Dalazar <laughs> Daniel Sal- now. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. I hear that. Yeah, no. So it's a build up between Daniel and Ophelia yeah. because that's that's the you know that's. Well, wait. We're right, get right. So let's the, talk about that for a that second. Meeting. That was talk about some character stuff. That yeah. was some interesting character stuff when she tells her. Well, I'm sorry. When Walker tells Daniel that she killed a bunch, that she poisoned a bunch of people, and he was yeah. like, "Wait, what?" And he's like, yeah. "I didn't raise her to be a soldier." So and then he decides later on when he's talking to Lola, he's like, "I'm look, I made you a promise. I'm not going to leave you. Mm-hmm. You know, um, my, my daughter, daughter thinks, thinks I'm dead. dead. Right? Yeah. It's like, so that but, stuff was, you know. But wait, but then, but then it just wraps up. Wait, 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 wait. Before I get to that point, <laughs> what? Go, she you goes. Sure you to don't want to do this show alone. Hold on. She goes. To, I'm sorry, dude, but she goes to Walker, and he's like, nope. That's it. I'm done. You fucking lied. You. By the way, it was gold. 
Didn't, didn't know yeah, it was yeah, gold. Did. It didn't look gold to me. It looked gold, gold to me. Maybe. But anyway, he's like, you took my gold. You fucking lied. You're a fucking liar. I hate you. Like the leprechaun? Help yeah. Help me find the gold. Yeah, he's all mad like a leprechaun. And he's like, I'm out. He's like, wait. She's like, wait, wait, wait. He's like, nope, nope. Screw you. I'm out. I'm like, okay, yeah. whatever. Then it just wraps up real quick. Oh, be, okay. So Strand. What a smile. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Strand, Strand um, rigs that thing to blow, which he saw in an old movie. Great. I did air quotes. It's like, and then all of a sudden it wraps up and, and they, and they're driving and you knew that you knew they were going to come up on Walker. First of all, oh, he's of walking all slow and just like taking his time rolls up thirsty. Yeah. I was like, and he smiles at her like, bitch. He just told you your whole family's out on the fucking street. Like, what yeah. are you talking about? Like it was too like, Oh, I know. Mikey, I, mean, I know it is, but now I think that that's that's the show's way of making them now a little team, a little click. But there was no you know team. I mean? He no, but now that will him. be that will be now because now uh, he knows that. But is it you know, is Madison, it Madison? Is Madison it delivers. Maybe from 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 her point of point of view, not really because well, she can say fuck you. All that matters is our point of view because we're the ones that have to sit through this shit. Was well, it deserved? Was it earned? It wasn't. I don't earned. think that that was. I, I mean, I don't think that that was what I was really basing um, the the episode on. Like I said, I was. I'm basing this episode on them building up the reunion of the father daughter with Daniel and Ophelia. I'm wondering about. It made me wonder. Um, cause everything came to fruition. They got their water. You know what I mean? They said they got to make, do the pickup in five days. She wants her 10,000 a week until the rains come, you know, 10,000 right, gallons right. a week till the rain come. So maybe this first deal will, will, will definitely come into, come to pass. Um, but like you said before, you still got a bunch of angry, um, you know, Spanish, ang angry Mexican people that are trying, that are going to attack this. So it's not going to be, there might be one or two little, um, little plays uh, uh, and and passing of the, of this of this trade, but uh, eventually I can kind of see Madison's people, uh, you know, the nation, and them having to come to the aid of of Salazar, the dam. yeah, and, and the dam, and uh, I can see Ophelia maybe being stuck between her father and go, maybe staying with her dad or her pushing her dad to come to the ranch. That's really what I. That's all that you really, you know. That's all I really got out of this. It was all basically about the dam. This episode and well, really yeah, and the whole much, thing. But that's all it was to me. It's just a build up. It's you know, if you want, for, for if you want to see, you want to see it, like you want to see the the Salazar reunion. Just to just skip the next episode because it's not going to be that probably. It's, I think it may be. I think they no, might the coming attractions. Did you you didn't watch him? No, I didn't it's, watch um, him. It's back at the ranch and it's Jake who we said we're missing halfway through the the premiere. Mm. Um, Jake is there. It looks like he's going crazy. And then you have uh, what was the other kid's name? Troy. Troy got his name i didn't care why well, he comes back he comes back and he's talking to nick and it's like and then there's this scuffle going down it's like so it's going to be at the ranch so while they were doing that it's going to show us what happens at the ranch maybe yeah. at the end maybe the the final scene yeah, will maybe. be them pulling up or something i can't i mean I'm, I'm, what else i don't care do? I mean, can i tell you dude i don't care like i, I don't, don't even really care about back at the ranch i want to see more of the bazaar like that'd be interesting yeah like yeah. like get like now to see now you're getting you, you introduce a place like the Bazaar, now you're getting kind mm -hmm. of like The Walking Dead where you have like the kingdom or you have the hilltop or even earlier where you have Terminus or you have Woodbury. Now you're getting into those things, okay? Yeah. And that's more interesting to me than, than what they've been doing. So go back to the Bazaar. Go, you know, uh, um, I, I watched some clips on, uh, I didn't get to watch the whole thing of the Talking Dead. Um, no, but he had that. Strand, he had uh, Coleman um, and... Uh, I forget her her, her her name, but the woman who plays Lola, and they were on there, and they and Strand was like, you know, Strand Col Coleman uh, Domingo was like, we're gonna, you know, we're definitely gonna go back to the bazaar, you know. Yeah. So so we're well, remember they said where the trade that that's the place right in between both of them, the ranch and the dam. So mm -hmm. that's a meeting place. So well, she called it a trading post. So I guess that's what well, that is. that's what that was. Yeah. yeah. So 
listen, I mean, it's funny because I use, I, you know, I love Chris Hardwick and I love the talking stuff, but it's just funny because I don't even, I can't really with the show. And you know that, you know, we both watch them, especially with Walking Dead, and mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. it's just, it's rough. You know, it's, it's rough. rough, man. It's um, rough. I don't know. You know, I don't know how I how I really um, how I'm going to feel after this this season. Um, we always talk about how much different. How, what can they do for the show to make it different? There was a cool little homage to like the well Walker from the first, the bloated Walker with Glenn where he almost gets it. And season two. Yeah. yeah with, with, you know, with that bloated Walker, I guess that was kind of cool. He was absorbed so much water. He kind of clogged up the hole. I guess that's where they were trying to go with that. Um, what do you think about some of the Walker things? I mean, that might've been some of the coolest parts you know, of the I, fire Walker. I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say, their Walker game is weak as shit, though, man. Like, there's no, there's no, because to me, The Walking Dead still has the fear of the Walkers. Like, when they show up, you're like, ah, oh, shit. This, yeah. this show, I'm not. Like, I'm not. I feel like they. I, I, I kind of disagree. There's no stakes. Uh, I, I think that. I think that in The Walking Dead, the Walkers, that's nothing, especially to Rick and and their group like that, but. I, I I think that on this show on Fear they, they that fear was lost much 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 sooner. Yes, um, yeah. Than and the we've Walking said that Dead. before previously. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's tough because I just love those first few seasons, especially with The Walking Dead, and yeah. that's what you worried about. And I and I and I know where both shows are, and I know where they're they're uh, you know the, the showrunners are taking them. But it just kills me. I would just love – I always told you this. And when we did our favorite um, uh, episodes and our favorite scenes yeah. from The Walking Dead, I always said I love that first episode um, when 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 Rick awakes uh, uh, is awoken and and he's um, he gets rescued, you know, by uh, by Morgan and they're sitting in the house and Rick still doesn't understand what's going on and tells Morgan, Hey, you killed this man earlier. And he was, that, that wasn't a man, you know, they're outside right now. Look at them. You know, yeah. the one Walker bumps that car and, and, and Rick gets up and peeks through the, you know, the blankets that are covering the windows. And just that, that, that fear that Rick must've felt at that time because he doesn't know, or he doesn't understand right. what this world is about. You know, yeah. he just woke up, but just for the viewer as well, because dude, I was always a zombie kid. I always that was one of my one of my favorite um, kind of monsters. Um, but they, you know, they always scared me. I always enjoyed, you know, you know, the gave you a good the, fright. You know, yeah. So it, I just always always liked that. And this show, it, they're just such killers now, and they've evolved so much being in this world for so long. So I mm-hmm. guess they have to. If they were still running around like, oh my god, I don't know how to defend myself. No, I they mean, can't, I they just can't meant, do that. I just, but yeah, but uh, I just, I just wish that the Walkers took precedence and the Walkers. That's all. Yeah, they're not a threat. They're not they're a not, threat. They're not. It's the humans. It's everybody else that wants what you have. Just like in fear, everybody wants the water. These people are going crazy. They're gonna attack the dam because they want the. I mean, the that's water. a legit and, reason. Don't get me wrong. That's legit. Oh no, I'm, I'm not I I do understand, but I wish uh, maybe the balance isn't there. It's been too much about the the human threat rather but even than their the human threat, threat. Like that's my point. Their human threat isn't even that interesting. The ranch was an interesting thing. And Troy Ranch. was interesting. The whole that whole the whole first half of the season got a little interesting. Then they came to the ranch. It's like we're 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 trying to grasp anything positive, you know. Yeah, you know. Look, I mean, I look again. We 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 have the utmost respect for what they're doing. The actors are great. It's not the acting per se. It's it's really just the character development and stuff. But look, I don't. We've know. said we've said all this before. Are yeah. we giving it another week? We'll give it another week. Yeah. We have to. We're definitely going to give it another week. Well, end up probably finishing it up. Probably going to finish gonna, it up you know, because let's not sugarcoat shit. And you know, at this point, deny we've or... got a we got a month until 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 The Walking Dead comes back, yeah. and then you know. But look, um, the new let's not be, let's not beat this up too much. I yeah, think we yeah. kind of covered it, and you know, you guys just let us know what you thought about this, and continue um, if you're going to continue watching the show. Uh, and what you felt about this, and maybe what you're looking forward to uh, in the future episodes of the of the season. Um, I think what do we have eight, right? This should be eight, I'm assuming. 
So what we what is that three? So know, maybe man. five left or so. Something so let's like see what that. happens. Let's see what what happens with this. Yeah. yeah, let's we've see what happens. We've got we've got four or five weeks, five left because there's five. Yeah, weeks. yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens, and we'll see where where the show is um is is going to be at the end of of season three, you know. Yeah. But you know, leave your comments and everything, uh, you know, in in this video, of course, on YouTube, Third Person Pod. Um, reach us on our Facebook, of course, at Third Person Pod, and our Instagram at Third Person Pod. And all that fun stuff. I have, like I told you guys last week, I have some cool, cool pictures and stuff. I'm gonna start putting up for the Walking Dead as we get a little bit closer. Um, and don't forget iTunes. Uh, check us out there. Listen. Check it out. Yeah, uh, guys. Yeah. If you wanna uh, hear another podcast that I do, RetroSquat.com. You can check that out. If you look down below in the description, there's a we have a YouTube channel now, and uh, you can go check that out. Check it's, it out. It's a, it's a cool retro podcast that we do. Um, so go check that out. It should be, it, it, it's fun. It's, it's good. It's good stuff. Uh, all right. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Again, leave all your comments down below. Thank you for everyone who comments and, and watches and hangs out with us. We really appreciate it. And, yep. uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks guys. And we'll see you on the next episode of, uh, the third person podcast. Fear the walking dead. Fear the walking butts. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. <laughs>